going to make them significantly more efficient, I'll say, 22 out of the 24 hours of the day, and then the other two hours, it's, gonna, it's literally going to squeeze every bit of capacity that it can. So let's go back to how they look right now. Okay. Right now, somebody, a traffic engineer, probably, I don't know, 10 years ago, or however long ago, did a traffic count. They have floppy disks in their controllers. Yeah, they, yeah, exactly. They did traffic counts at these intersections and said, hey, here's how much traffic's coming through here. Here's where it's turning and where it's going. Let's put a traffic signal in. And based on that snapshot of volume, mm -hmm. here's how the signal should be timed. So we have those guys 20 seconds over here at green time, and we'll give them 10 seconds, and then we'll give these guys 30 seconds, and it just goes in that same cycle. Mm -hmm. and at off-peak off hours, you have detection. Where mm -hmm. you either have a radar or a loop, like I said before, that when a car comes up to the side street, the controller says, hey, there's a car waiting. Mm -hmm. And if you're not, if there's not, no cars coming in the other direction, which you can also detect, they'll say, okay, I'm going to turn the light red eventually. Once it reaches the threshold that was punched into the controller, and then I'll let this guy go. Mm -hmm. What the adaptive system does is it literally videos the traffic, not just the volume, but the actual movements at the mm -hmm. intersection. Then when it's first installed, it learns for two weeks, it learns the patterns of traffic, and it talks to all of the other intersections. It's also learning all the patterns of traffic. And then it says, once you go into real operation, in real time, it then operates based on actual traffic demands and volumes. So if you ever had some sort of an event or some sort of a function that was dumping out of a side street, that system would actually know that and would adjust in real time the timing of that signal for that moment, mm -hmm. then it would just go back to its normal operation. So right now, if you're not consistently out there manually monitoring, monitoring the traffic and changing the timings in the controller with your traffic uh, maintenance contractor, you're kind of stuck with what was snapshotted however long ago. If this is real time, it actually real time evaluates traffic going and adjusts the timings in the whole system based on the patterns. How long does it remember? How many days? How far back? So it learns for the first two weeks, and then, it, and then from that point, it consistently evolves as, pat as patterns change. So it literally, every single cycle should be different. Every single one. Right now, you have set traffic signal cycles for this corridor for certain times of the day. Mm -hmm. it, every single cycle could be different. So when you say it talks to the other systems, it talks to the other systems south ahead. And stuff all of the other sectors, they're, 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 they're all just connected through radio communications, and then the, the, the central hub is going to be the south ahead. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second, because the Green Lake Oak Ramp we're looking at now is Presley, Station, Bower Hill. Now, those three lights communic have historically communicated with each other. The, the line has been severed for, for several years. So right now, today, those they don't communicate. They're, they're running free. They're running free. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, are you saying that everything is going to communicate? What I'm saying is that South Bay is implementing they're going to go from the last cycle at these yeah. eight intersections, which right. includes Chartiers. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying is that these three intersections will be added to that system. Okay. So the entire traffic patterns from Miller's Run Road up on 50, all the way out to Burska, and all the way out to Presley, are in real time going to be evaluating the traffic that's coming through there and adjusting ever so slightly or however they need to. Now, to make all, it we, the now all we need to do is get Collier Township on board. What I would say is that the technology is as good as that new technology, which is five or six years old, is as good as if you had traffic cops out of every one of these intersections talking to each other and trying to you know, get the traffic to the yes. so, so it's much better than you. Oh, I don't know. I think the humans have some advantages, but this is still pretty darn good. Thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate your time and your expertise. Thank you.